Hi everyone, it's Jen here and I'm doing an updated version of my Filofax. I have this, these two here and this one here. Each of them, this is, these are A5 Domino and a Personal Metropole. Uh, each of these were $5 each at Officeworks and uh, they had a super, they had a slash down sale which was slash down again so it was a fantastic deal and it was my introduction to Filofaxes and so I got all three. These two all they do is hold the refills at the moment of these two. So this is my personal Molden and which I use as my wallet and my calendar and this is my A5 Domino that I use as my home maintenance folder. So I'll put these two aside because um, they're really basically just holding my things and I'll put this one aside for now too and I'll just show you a quick look at my Aqua Molden Personal. I'll just tuck that under here if it doesn't run away. Okay so here we have at the side I use it again as my wallet so I have my driver's license and my Medicare card and my regular cards. I keep cash in this pocket in here and my coins in the zipper. I have the fly leaf that came with the Filofax uh, and I put a bit of washi tape around it that I got from Typo. And there's just a picture of my daughter when she was about four months old and myself and my husband um, when we were dating. So I like to keep those in there and I've just got on the back of it um, just another another picture and uh, just some um, card to make it look pretty and I just put holes in it. This is another dash that came with again with the Filofax and I just put slits in it and so it can come in and out if I need it to. And I've just put a few post-it notes, my typo ones and my regular post-it notes. And just a little sticker. Now, to a certain degree, I use a colour coding system. On this side are the Martha Stewart Dewdrops. And I'm not using these as much now because as you can see, they're starting to come off and I get sick of writing them and rewriting them all the time. So I'm trying a new system out, but I'm still kind of have these integrated so you will see. Um, I have blue for appointments and for work, things that definitely need to stand out for me. Uh, birthdays in yellow, paydays for my husband and myself when I do CRT work and when bills and mortgages due. Now these little dots here have been, I've been using on my monthly calendars but I'm starting to integrate them into my uh, weekly calendar as well because I, I need more space and these ones take up a lot of room. So mortgage, when my husband's pay comes in and mine, birthdays, appointments and work. So that's just a reminder there. The Filofax 2013, just put a sticker on the, the months that have gone by and I've clipped them all together and I have current month of November and I've just got a one of my tabs here that I just got from Officeworks for a dollar. I got a pack of the blue and the green ones. I'm oh, not from Officeworks, from the reject shop, sorry. So this is just a quick layout of what it looks like. Let's put that aside. Okay, I've just got a bit of washi tape down the sides and I photo did I make did I photocopy this? I did. I photocopied this from the Filofaxi website for free. And again, the same color coding, mortgage, appointments, and pays, and birthdays. Now, this uh, dash is a little bit thicker, which I like, but it didn't actually come with anything. I actually made these, and I'll show you what I used. I used these two set of two flexible chopping mats. So it is really bendy, really thin chopping mat that I don't think would be any good as a chopping board but was $1.50 from the Dollar King shop and I cut them up just with regular scissors, punched holes in them, made them, I made two for my uh, personal and I made three for my 
a five. So, and that's just from one. So I've still got a whole other chopping board left. So that's what I used for that. Okay, so then I've got my other month's Christmassy tape um, and some lined paper. And then going through for January for 2014, all the way through, all I did was um, put in birthdays. That's all I've done so far. Oh, and when um, our new baby's due. So then we go to the weeklies. Again, I have um, stuck all the past ones together. So blue, same thing again for appointments, things that I can't miss. I've been using the Muji stamps, which have been working really well. Um, I was just testing it out and I ended up putting it in the middle, but I'll, I'll move it closer to the side from now on. Um, it has bled through, so I need to find some ink that kind of works better for me. Um, yeah, so I've decorated it a bit. I made another... Um, board and I've, I've kept it low so if I turn the page again you can see it sticks out on the bottom and the top and the bottom so I can grab it and flick it from the bottom as well which I find I tend to do a lot so I just put a few things like my just a reminders for myself and a couple of sticky notes again uh, weekly to-do lists I like to have on my Kiki K paper this is just for the week so I have the daily ones that I need to get done that day and then I have ones that need to be done through the week so if you can see how I use my system I will tick them off when I've done what I needed to do if I put an arrow that goes across it means um, that it's going on to the following week um, again if I use um, this one for example um, I tick the ones I've done and this one has an arrow going down, so that means I need to do it tomorrow. Okay, that seems to work well for me. And the other half of the week, and I've just, yep, again, color coding that way. Not a lot of color coding. I don't use different color pens, really. I've got my Fusion pen, which I attach to a pen loop, which is on here. The pen loop is really small. I got it on eBay, so it doesn't actually fit the pen, but I can hook it on there, and it does the same job. And I also have um, just a regular highlighter, an orange highlighter, uh, a Stablo Swinkle. And that just hooks onto the pen loop that comes with the file facts. And the appointments that I need, not appointments, but kind of personal life stuff that I need to remember that I'm doing, get highlighted. So these are just personal appointments you need to get highlighted. Okay, and again my to-do list. Okay, so that goes all the way through December until we hit January. Okay, and I've made tabs for 2014. I've made January. And I labelled all these and all these all I did to make these by the way oops to make these by the way is I just grabbed the A to Z tabs and I used them as a template and I used my paper and traced over them and cut them out that's all I did and then I used my Dymo labeler and printed out the labels that I needed these are a really good investment I'm a teacher as well and I used I used it all the time as a teacher okay so once that's done, we come to my notes section with Jasmine. It's printed off the internet. It's really cute. Um, and here I just keep my uh, Martha Stewart tabs that I've attached a, um, an envelope there and just some notes and some paper. You can hear my um, dryer in the background. Okay, and my financial tab. And this is where I keep stuff like, this is my, I designed it myself, it's my online shopping tracker. So it's got the date, the shop that I bought from, the item, the price including postage, the payment method, the shipping date and when it was received. Just some tax information, things that I need next tax time to take with me to the tax man that they'll need to see just to remind myself. Um, project information. This is my master to-do list. 
So I have my weekly to-do list and my daily to-do list in here, but this is the master one. This is the one that like things, oops, things that I need to get done this year or soon, things that I want to get done, but don't have to be done right away. When they're done, I'll tick them off. Um, baby name ideas. Um, this is a tab for the backyard, things that we want to do there. For my daughter's room, she's moving rooms, so my new baby can go in that room and she has the bigger room. And main bedroom ideas. This tab down here is the wish list, and that's got tabs up here. So there's a tab for my husband, tab for me, a tab for the kids, and a tab for home. So just things that I see, that I like, that I would like. So this is my one, and you know, there's some, just some things that I like. The kids tab and the home tab. And then after that, there's each each section has its own coloured paper. Um, I've got some to-do lists ready to go to pop in their right sections, so I'll just box those and put them ready. Here is the top opening envelope with the dots that I use. Um, in this little Debden one that I don't like that much it doesn't it's not very wide um, but I just keep stamps in here uh, I have all my business card not the business card holder but I put like you know all my other cards that I need in here and this is just um, in here and in here are things that I just need um, like for doctor's appointments and Medicare details and receipts and stuff in here so I think super exciting there. So that is my Filofax for um, my carry around Molden. Um, in the next video, I will do my home management system, which is everything else. This one I take with me everywhere. This one I leave at home, but it's got all my home stuff that I need. All right, here is my A5 Domino home management system. This again is one of my $5 beauty buyers. And I have two more fusion pens. I have a purple and a blue. And they're on elasticated um, pen loops. So I they fit perfectly. In these pockets, I have adhesive notes from Kiki K. That just slide in there. And I have the super sticky sticky notes with the lines that I use as my grocery shopping lists. Here I have in this front opening pocket that came with the Filofax some flags and some post-it things and some Martha Stewart tabs. <clears throat> in this second one I have a template of my uh, grocery list which I'll explain in a minute and just some scrap paper. Uh, here is just a regular fly leaf that came with it with washi tape and a picture of my daughter <laughs> when she was little. She used to love sticking her tongue out. Um, I haven't filled in the personal information, but I've got another fly leaf and that there. And I have um, clipped up to today. So here is today's, um, this week's list. I just do the top three priorities, which I got from Kiki K, the three things I need to get done that day or that week. Um, I really like this format of going down the page. I've tried both and that seems to work best for me. Um, my to-do lists that I need to get done at home. Um, my blocked off sections. I've just hidden this stuff here because it's got some personal information in there. Um, and think reminder cards and notes and things like that. So actually this was last week, sorry, that's not today. Um, so I made a, uh, as you can see in my last video, I made a my own dashboard out of chopping board stuff, which was the chopping mats. So you can just, and I also up the top, so you can just turn to that. And that's my dash here. Um, I tried this way along this week just to give it a shot because I had both inserts to try, but I don't think I like this way. I'm going to go back to uh, my old method of uh, going down the page. So I've put all the rest of the year in going down. 
Now this little guy is my menu planner. I have little um, little tabs here that have what we're having for the week and you'll see those later on and what they do. But I've got a to buy section, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So for every day of the week, I would have just put in one of these transferable um, stickers with what we're having and bought accordingly. Now, this doesn't take up much room at all, as you can see from back here, and you just flip it to, I have it on the front part of the um, dashboard through Monday, Wednesday, and then I just pop it on the back part on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because it's just easier and more accessible. I've been using, <coughs> excuse me, I've been using the Martha Stewart tabs uh, for, for washing. So I've got like um, my washing, my daughter's washing, and sheets and towels is what I use for kind of washing for red, um, in red. Uh, that has been good because I just move it for time. I just, they're starting to lose their stick a bit, so I'll need to do them again soon. This is next week, so I've I've gone back to this going down the page because it works best for me. Uh, yellow I have for gross, uh, yellow I have for um, the bathroom and green I have for groceries. And as you can see down here, I have a, a save, a CC and a HL. It's my savings, credit card and home loan. So every other day I will um, write in exactly how much so I know how much that I've spent so I can just keep a track, track on it. Um, my to-dos for next week. And again, blocking off sections of time I'm busy for. And um, yeah, and I will transfer my menu plan over here. And speaking of menu plan, here are my uh, tabs. So I'll skip through that. I don't have a monthly section for this because I don't need it at the moment. I just have my date, my weeklies and my information. So I have a notes tab, which just, this is just some blogging information and some scrap paper. I have a financial tab. Do I have anything on this page? No, it's the big version of the one I've shown before. So the online shopping tracker. I also have, I'll show you a blank one, a financial tracker. So uh, this is, you put the date, what you've, how much, whatever it was, whether the money's going in or coming out and what it was for. Keep an eye on things. Repayment tracker. So if you owe money to someone or something, um, ours last one that I did this for was for our wedding um, and the payment amount. So you're just going, the, the date, the amount paid and the total outstanding. And that goes down to there. Okay, um, the next one is projects. So I have a master to-do list that doesn't need to be done now or this week or even this month. It's just something that needs to get done. You know, I'd like it done within the year maybe, you know, that when I, when I eventually go through it all, I tick it off. I have little tabs up the top. So I've got just um, handwritten ones, Christmas, backyard and Layla's room. So this is just Christmas. So presents from Dave's family, presents from my family. And I used um, this website, organisedchristmas.com, and they were free. Okay, and this is just the family Christmas list. And I haven't started this yet, but I'm doing Christmas lunch this year. So I'm going to figure out what we're having for lunch and the decorations we're going to have and all that sort of stuff. Next tab is the backyard, so things I need to do there. Things I need to do for my daughter's room. And then we've come to the meal section. And this is where, here is the key. So everything in yellow is chicken, green is beef, red is lamb, blue is pork. Um, that dark red is vegetarian. And then there's like a takeaway or eat out kind of sticky, nerdy purple one. And I just put on a bunch of dinners that we like as a family. And I need to add some more. There's some that are missing because they're already um, on the menu plan. Now, there's not a lot here. That's because I've only just started this system um, last week. So um, I'm going to add more 
kind of as I go. And then um, once they're done over here, I then take them off and put them back and put a new one on. So I found this is working really well for us. Okay, so then we come to the personal tab, which is just my personal information. Um, I'll show you a blank one. Here is a pregnancy weight tracker. So it's just the date, how many weeks pregnant I am, the weight that I am now, and any comments that I want to leave. Um, just kind of helps me track my weight um, and kind of keeps me, it just keeps me on track. Um, here is a regular weight tracker, so same thing again, and then tick whether or not I've exercised or not. So I'm going to use that when I'm not pregnant anymore. And I just made these on Word document. Very easy. And then I've got a blank one that I haven't put anything in yet, and it's just got coloured paper and plain paper and all that sort of jazz in here. And then it's got some to-dos in the back. And then at the very back, it's just got the gridded notepad um, that I really like. I like these pads. So yeah, that's all that I have in my A5 home Filofax at the moment. Again, I have only been using this system for about a month and I've already changed it and I've already done a updated video and I'll keep you informed if I do anything else, but this is currently my life system, my wallet and my calendar and my home management file. If you have any questions, just leave a message um, down below. Okay, bye.